you want to play your old video game music in MIDI files using some canvas. So stay tuned because in this video I'm going to show you how to download, build and play this wonderful instrument. First of all, what is this software? This is a standalone software, it's called Nuke SC55 and basically it's an emulation of the Roland Sand Canvas that unfortunately just uh, was the discontinued by Roland so we now have a free version uh, available on GitHub you need to download the software, you need to build the software yourself and then you need to find the ROMs in this video I'm going to show you how to build and prepare the software in order to play it you can play it using a standard MIDI keyboard for example you can hear I'm just playing a couple of chords or you can use a MIDI player to play your favorite video game MIDI files or whatever kind of general MIDI file you want to play. So let's go straight to GitHub and download the software and start the installation. And this is the GitHub page. Don't worry, you will find all the links in the description. So this is the name of the project, which is again Nuked SC55, which is an emulation of the Roland C. SC555 series emulation, so it can emulate different releases of the Roland Sun Canvas module. And there are some explanations here about the modules, the supported modules that can be emulator, emulated, and then a little bit of explanation of the IC that have been decapped and uh, basically reconstructed using reverse engineering for the module to 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 work. And this is an example page, of course. And this is all the different kind of uh, wave ROMs and firmware that you need to install. Please don't ask them in the description. I have already been banned from YouTube or one of my media have been banned for providing links to the to the ROMs. You can search around and find it. And then you also have additional info here about the control that you can have in the in the software. So basically, you can control and move things around and change the channel and uh, change the parameters and change an instrument using the keyboard. So, first of all, let's see how we can build a copy. I'm using Mac. I will probably have another video for Windows soon, so check back uh, maybe tomorrow. And so, let's go to Terminal and, and download the software. First, create an empty folder. In this case, I created the SC55 nuked folder, which is empty. And then you can open by right clicking and go to services. And then you can have a new terminal a folder. So you can open a new terminal window. Let's zoom in a little bit. First of all, if you have never installed anything, you need to install Homebrew. And you can do that by going to the web. The website called brew.sh so let me show you how to do this first and it's very simple on the website you find uh, the command to install homebrew using your terminal so you simply copy from here so i'm copying this string and then i go back to the terminal and i can simply paste it and install in my case it's already installed but let's pretend it's not installed you need to provide your password, of course, and then simply press enter. And that's it. Then you will, you will need to install some dependencies, such as the Git, the CMake, in order to make the software and the MIDI packages. And you can install it using Homebrew, so you can use the brew install command, and you can also install everything in a single passage like i'm doing here again in, on my system they are already installed but let's pretend they are not okay now we have all the dependencies installed so we can clone the project using the git clone command again no worries you will find all the different strings and all the different commands in the description so let's clone it and this basically is going to download the software into the folder that you have created before. You see here we have a, a small 
another folder inside that with some some software then you need to get into the folder using the cd command the cd command basically changes the directory so cd nuke sc55 let me go into the into the specific folder then we need to create a subfolder for the build called build and you can do that by using the mkdir which is basically make directory and so we are making another folder inside which is called build and then we need to go into that folder using again the cd command so you type cd build so now we have created a build folder and now we are inside that folder and now we can start making actually making the software so we need to type this first command which is calling the cmake and the cmake is actually the compiler so it's going to compile the software for us and then we're going to build okay this is simply taking a few seconds and then we need the last command which is the build command in order to build the software And that's it. Very straightforward, and it only takes about a minute. And after building the software, you need to get the ROMs and to copy the ROMs into the build folder. So you see here we have now a SC55 with a nuked SC55 inside with a build folder inside. And this is the software that we need to launch. But if you launch it now, you will get a failed error because it's missing the law, the, the ROMs. So we need to provide the ROMs first, of course. Again, please don't ask in the comments uh, to give you the links for the, the ROMs. You can search around and they are pretty everywhere. So let me just get my ROMs here. I have different ROMs for different revisions of the sound canvas. And then I'm simply taking the ROMs here, the files, and copying and pasting them into the same folder here in the build. And then I can launch the Nuke SC55 software and see if it works. Yeah, that's it. You see the Sun Canvas interface and the display is now being executed on my, on my screen. Let me close the finder and let me move away the terminal and I can play it for example yeah I'm simply using a keyboard connected using the MIDI patch bay which is a free software for the Mac and I'm simply using my Unison Pro and this is connected to the driver Yak bus one and basically the Sun Canvas module by default will only listen on channel one but you get moved to different channels so for example here i am on channel one i can move to another channel maybe channel two it's another piano i'm playing on channel two let's try to go to channel three again another piano of course i will need to change the instrument that are loaded on the different channels of course we have 16 channels because this, this is a fully compatible general media device or you can use a midi player like i did in the beginning so in this case i have this small midi player x which is a nice midi player it's it's not free it's just two dollar 99 on the on the apple store so i can drag and drop some of the music from some video games for example so let me try to okay, simply drag and drop the MIDI file here. And again, it's connected to the, to the driver, to the Yak driver here. So let's play it. And you see the Sun Canvas is playing very good normally. Let's try another one. Let's try another MIDI file, the Doom again. Mm -hmm. 
and as you can see it plays very very nice so that's it basically if you want to stay with me some more minutes i'm going to play some midi files and some music and yeah until the end of the video so if you want to stay with me thanks if you like this video please subscribe please like the video and if you want to give me a super thanks it will be appreciated see you let's play some music now Thank you.